Hello, welcome back to my channel. What we're doing today is we need a cone shape for my Bender mailbox. So this is how you design or how you uh, lay out a cone on a flat sheet so you can roll it around into the cone shape. So for our bender, our cone that we need is 270 at the top, 230 at the bottom and 315 high. So on this bit of paper we're going to make that one tenth of that. So we start off with a line across the bottom of our sheet and we'll do a perpendicular line to that somewhere up the middle and we'll go something like this. Okay, so as we said, we're um, 270, which is 27. So that'll make that 13 and a half either side. So there's 10, 13 and a half to there. 10, 13 and a half to there. Um, yep, that's right. So that's our bottom two measurements. And we're 315 high, which is 31.5 if we go one tenth of that. It'll be about there somewhere. That's our height at the top. And the other side is 230, which is going to be 23 because they're one tenth. So half of 23 is 11.5. So we go 11.5 to there. And 11.5 to there. We check that, we should be 23, which we are. So we have to make that line across our page. Now, there's our shortest measurement, our widest measurement, and there's our height. Now what we do is we join these two lines together, like so, and run a line completely up the page. And that will give us a point at the top of the sheet. And we do this again here, on this side, and it should be the same, it should join up to that point. Somewhere near it. Okay, so there's our cone shape that we want, extend it up to a point. Now what we have to do is create an arc, out like so, from here, from that point, at the top of our cone, and from the bottom point. So we need a pivot from there to here. And how we're going to do that is, so we've got a ruler, drill the hole on the zero mark, and we're going to put a pin through the hole and on the apex of our triangles. Now we're simply going to put a pencil on this mark and draw that arc. Now we'll do the bottom one the same. Pencil on that line, hold it against the ruler. It won't be perfect, but it'll do for what we're up to. Now that we've got those marks, what we have to do is measure the radius and that is going to be about 13 or no, 14 millimeters so we'll say the radius of that is 14 millimeters so now we'll put our pin back in there to hold that down we measure up this line here up the arc 14 millimeters which is about there and we do that six times so that's one Two, three, four, five, and six. So from there to there will be the shape that we need. So now we join this back up to the point on this last mark here, like so. Now this shape in here is that cone laid out on a flat piece of paper. So if you just want to join side to side, um, you just leave it like that. But if you want an overlap, you would lay a, leave a little bit more on the edge here for an overlap. But for what we're doing, we can just leave it like this. So now, to prove that that matches up to that shape, we'll get our scissors and we'll cut this out 
of our piece of paper. Along that line, around this curve, and up this side, and we'll cut this out, and of course the sun has just tried to decide to come across and ruin my shot. And we'll cut this out through here. Cut this bottom arc out. Okay. So that should be that size when it's rolled up. So let's see how we went. Get a piece of sticky tape. And we'll put it on one side. Like so. We'll roll it around, join it to the other side. It's probably easier with a big cone or smaller fingers. But we'll do what we can with what we've got. Come on. Here we go, that's that side. And that's the top bit. Yeah. If we know at all what we're talking about, that cone should match this cone on our paper. And it does. Perfect match. So if you know the shape of your cone, that's how you lay it out on a flat sheet. So when it's rolled up, it will be the right size. These measurements that I've, had, uh, that I've used here are for a one-tenth of my bender mailbox. So if you're making the body shape of the mailbox and you want it to not be straight sides, you want it to be a cone like that, then that's how you do that. Okay, thanks for watching. Comments welcome, and please like and subscribe if this has been helpful. Bye for now.